Today, we had another possible sighting of the escape killer in Chester County. And Danilo Cavalcante remains on the loose over a week after scaling up and over a Chester County prison wall. Police say someone reported seeing him near Longwood Gardens around noon today. State police say they diverted a number of troopers to that location. This is the eighth day of the search for Cavalcante, who escaped last Thursday morning, and police issued this warning. I believe he becomes more desperate. Uh, I believe he has always been very dangerous, and I've said that from the start. He's already murdered two people, one in Brazil and one here in a very brutal manner. Um, he's a very dangerous individual, and he remains so. There is a $20,000 reward for information leading to the capture of Cavalcante. Well, as we reported, he's not the first inmate to escape from the Chester County Prison. A couple who lives near the facility is voicing their concerns and need for change. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Nikki Dementry is live in Chad's Ford tonight with their story. Nikki. Good evening, guys. You know, we've been here throughout the day. This was a security checkpoint. This road is still closed. There was a trooper stationed here throughout the afternoon. You can hear the sirens behind me. We just saw five to ten trooper cars turn on to Baltimore Pike. We will get you more information as soon as we know it. But I want to go back to what you were talking about, Jessica. The big question tonight from so many, particularly this one family we spoke with that lives right next to this prison. They're asking how did two inmates escape two separate times within a matter of months from each other. The neighborhood adjacent from the Chester County Prison is quiet on day eight of the manhunt for Danello Cavalcante. James Clear has lived here since 2020. None of us should be experts in like how prisons are run, but it feels like we all are after a week of you know, hunkering down. With Cavalcante still on the run, the data too is sounding the alarm about changes he hopes to see immediately at the prison just over the hill from his house. They got Igor Bolt really quickly, but they still haven't caught this guy. Claire is talking about Igor Bolt, the inmate who escaped first from the same prison, officials note in a similar fashion. On the day he got out in May, Clear caught him on his surveillance camera overlooking his backyard. Uh, my wife called 911, I called the prison. My wife got a very efficient response from the Chester County 911 dispatchers. I, on the other hand, got a, an officer from the, the prison. Um, I don't remember the exact phone call, the exact words, but he was his tone was very nonchalant. Details within court documents obtained by CBS News Philadelphia on Bolt's escape match the timestamps on the surveillance photos Clear has. It also notes Bolt was back in custody within five minutes in Clear's neighborhood. My wife and I had to had to sort of put it together that he was. Um, an escaped convict. We had to, oh, we live near a prison. It could be an escaped convict. There was no alert, no anything. It wasn't until this week, Clear says, he even knew any details about the first inmate's escape. Now he's calling on the county and the prison to make major changes, including if high level offenders like Cavalcante should even be temporarily housed there. A transparent reform needs to happen, or, or a lot of us are going to think twice about being adjacent to, you know, what they call a prison, but what should really be just a county jail. When asked about alerts during a prison escape at a news conference Thursday, the Chester County District Attorney says alerts are put out repeatedly and pointed to the reverse 911 tactic used over the last week. No, this is an outrage. This should have never happened. You know that I was the prosecutor who was assigned to this case, and I helped convict this man, and he was sentenced to life with, you know, without parole. Um, we're all upset. We're all concerned, and there will be a thorough investigation, and that will be made public at some point. Now, we did ask Chester County officials for further comment on the matter. We're still waiting to hear back. Just describing a little bit more of the scene right now. While we were in my story, we saw several other trooper cars come down. We're at Creek Road in Baltimore Pike. They were turning both right and left, different directions. Some had their sirens on. We also heard a helicopter overhead. Of course, we're going to bring you the latest at 10 and 11 online as well. But for now, live in Chad's Ford, Nikki Dementri, back to you guys in the studio. Very interesting, Nikki. I know you will stay on top of it. Thank you for that.